So I've never caught a hogfish before yesterday. We went out, first stop, first shrimp, caught a really nice one. I'm gonna try something different. We're gonna grill whole hogfish and have like a, I don't know, like a Cuban platter. So we'll see if it works out, but I'm gonna gut it, scale it, and then I saw where people will cut out the backbone a little bit so that you get some flavor in the top part of the meat and uh, see how it tastes. All right, now that we got the inside all nice and cleaned out, I'm gonna go ahead and fillet down the sides just a little bit. I mean, really, we can score the meat three times. And then I'm going to cut into this backbone just a little bit. And that just kind of opens up the top a little bit. Actually, run down just a little bit more. Creates a little pocket so I can throw some butter and spices in there. egg fired up, this grill fired up to 450, 450 and then we're going to go dress the hogfish. Alright, a lot going on at once. I got our yellow rice cooking. I've already made our chimichurri sauce that is parsley, garlic, cilantro, half of a white onion and then olive oil until you get a nice uh, consistency. I'm going to be able to drizzle that over the fish when it's done. But we're going to go ahead and mix all our spices in a bowl. Put some uh, Mazzola cooking spray on the outside of the fish. Put our spices on. Going to put a, a little slab of butter over the top and then we're going to go put it on the grill when we hit 450. I have no idea how much I'm putting up everything. Just kind of winging it. That usually works. A little bit more paprika. Could put cayenne, but then that would make stuff get real mad. Where's my smoked paprika? There she is.
Let's do it. Fish is on the grill. I'm gonna assume that's gonna take 12 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna go out halfway, spray the skin again with some more uh, hand spray. That might crisp it up. I don't know, I'm just winging it. This is my first time doing it. Like I said, our chimichurri is done. Our rice looks like it's almost done. We got eight minutes left on our plantains. Then we're gonna put it all on a serving platter, build our little dish. Let's see how it turns out. Rice is done. We're going to go ahead and make our bed of rice that the fish is going to sit on. And yes, even though I probably could eat all this rice, we are not going to eat all this rice tonight. There will be leftovers of this spread. Shout out to Lazy Angler Michael Ortega. Just finished a weight loss competition, eating good tonight. I lost 10 pounds in six weeks without really even trying. It's a little hot, 500 degrees. That fish is going to sit right in the center, so I'm just going to kind of spread some beans out along each. Little white onion. More white onion. A little bit of red pepper. Stephanie prefers black olives. I like green olives. So I'm going to do a half and half. Hogfish off the grill. Last thing we're going to do, well, the two last things, we're going to drizzle some chimmy 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 churry. Jimmy, Jimmy, oh my gosh. That's that rum talking. We're gonna drizzle some chimichurri sauce all over this beautiful hogfish. And big time on the green onion. Color is flavor. And I think it's about time for us to dig in. Let's put a little chimichurri up front. Actually, I forgot one last thing. Our plantains.
I cannot wait to eat this. It looks so damn good. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is my first ever hogfish. Super stoked. Thank you, Brian Ruby. Uh, taking me out. John Chapman. Check him out. Captain Chappy on YouTube. He makes the hog balls, which is the kind of jig that we use to catch this fish. If you know me, I kind of go all out when I do things. Like, <laughs> this looks insane. Um, so I never cooked a whole fish. So we're going to give it a whirl, obviously. Um, that looks... yeah, it's all right. Just scrape around there. I've never eaten hogfish, like ever, so this will be the first time I try hogfish. And if you are new to the channel because you saw hogfish in the title, give me a subscribe, a like, a comment because this is all we do. We just cook ridiculous stuff. We catch fish. First hogfish ever! That's good. You know, it took me like 2,500 shrimp to finally catch one of these hogfish. Plantain with a chimichurri. Thank you. Oh my god. That's awesome. We better uh, well, go back out. I'm looking forward to uh, wintertime when these guys are plentiful, more shallow. We were out in the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, look at these teeth. Stop I kinda, it. I kinda, Stop it. <laughs> I kind of charred Stop them. Stop! Do it! I kind of charred them a little bit. Stop talking about it. I can't. What if he was talking to No! You? Stephanie, no. am I good? Oh, it's a teeth thing. <laughs> you know I don't like teeth. <laughs> really don't like teeth. This is going to be good now. This is going to be good for lunch tomorrow. I cannot wait to catch my next hogfish. I might actually fillet it like normal because, you know, whatever. But oh my god, the meat's just pulling off these bones. I'm trying to get a piece without any on it. Just, just plain hog? Mm -hmm. It's incredible. This meat is super white. If you never caught a hog, good luck. <laughs> Maybe talk to Brian Ruby, he'll show you where they're at. But uh, wow. Wait, didn't you catch it at the, at the bridge? Yeah. Chur Verde Bridge. Loaded. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a great 4th of July. Celebrate America. Be an American. I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, Black, White, Gay, whatever you want to be. I don't care. You're an American. We love you. Celebrate being an American. God bless. Thanks for watching.